So I quit my job because I felt that they was racist. Not to the point to where it was like upfront racism and whatnot, but more so to the point where I'm going to just help the people that look like me. You know what I'm saying? So let me just give you a little backstory. I've been in the business for fought with Fire Alarm Security Local 3 for like 20 some years. I actually have my own business now for the past seven years. But within that time period I was working with for these particular companies, I managed to get two bachelor's degree, one in computer science, another one in audio engineering and music production. Within the field, I was able to get certified on pretty much every manufactured fire alarm panel there is out there. Also, Security systems like burglar alarm systems, card access systems, intercom systems, and also CCTV systems. I was able to do any one of those systems. So that's five different systems that will require a person each system. I was able to bring all that to the table as one individual. So I was asking for more money. I felt that I was entitled for more money. However, I did not get that. So an email come in, which... When you're in a union, you have to kind of like certify the payroll each and every week to make sure the guys are getting paid according to what the union scale is. So mysteriously, I get this email and I see what all these white people are getting and whatnot. And some of them, not mad at them. They've been in there before I was doing this. So cool. Kudos to those guys. They nice. They get what they get. But it was dudes in there who ain't have no paperwork on fire alarm, but they was white. So they was getting five, six, seven dollars way more than me at the time and whatnot. So that pissed me off. And I had to step to the owner like we got a situation. So after he gave me some bullshit after a year, how he was supposed to give me a raise over a course of a year. Nothing ever happened. So I just quit that next year, signed my resignation letter and I broke up out of there. Fast forward to now, it's been seven years and I had started my business ever since I quit my job. It was really off a base of emotion. Like I didn't have a plan. I didn't have no money. I had like child support backed up, super in the rears. It was a disaster. However, I knew that I wanted to do something for me and I knew I wasn't going to be able to get the money from this company because you only going to max out what you're going to max out for any particular corporation you're working for, right? So I was like, I'm going to do this on my own. Regardless of the family I got involved, I'm going to just put everybody's lives in jeopardy taking this chance and whatnot. Fast forward, like I said, seven years later, I got this job that I'm doing here inside this school where we put in a whole brand new fire alarm system. And this is not just one job. This is multiple jobs that I've been able to acquire over the years. So I'm trying to give you some motivation, bro. Brothers and sisters out there, you can do it. You can do it. You just got to put your mind to it. You just got to stick with God and just Focus on what you need to focus on. Fuck the going outside. Fuck getting fresh. Fuck the jewelry. Fuck the watches. Fuck all that shit. That shit don't mean nothing. Because when a person look at you, either they're going to be envious because you're too fresher than them. I'm like a bum every day. I'm like a bum every day. And I'm going to fuck what I look like. You know why? Because I run a business. I got employees. Why do I care what I look like? I jump out the range over like this. It doesn't fucking matter. My job is to make sure I provide for my kids so they don't have to do the same struggles that I did growing up. So I needed to quit that position, fire that boss, and I had to do what I need to do for myself and for my family. So what we got going on here is if you could just focus on, and it's hard to do, it's very, very hard to do. Imagine for the past seven years, not making money, making money up and down. You got people for weeks not getting paid. You not getting paid for weeks, but you still got the mental capacity to keep going because you know that you're building something that's going to help people and that's going to provide for people, right? So all I do is just keep going because I see the progress that I have. I got 58 schools between Staten Island and Brooklyn. I got about 30 facilities that's uh, governed by another facility up in all five boroughs. I'm not mad. I get government contracts. I found out what my niche was and what really helped me build this business where I'm at now was me getting certified minority after that first year. Like I was putting work in that first year. I was grinding. I heard about the minority certificate. Second year, I got it. Third year, ain't do nothing. Fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh year. I just been getting it just been happening. I'm on a list of these vendors. And as long as I can keep completing work, then my name is going to be good when they come look at me. Oh, hey, security, security. Yo, we need some cameras. We need a fire alarm system. Send me your price, bro. I got you. So whatever it is that you're doing out there, stick to it, man. Nothing happens right away. Everything takes time and whatnot. So imagine my business is seven years old. I don't know if any of you have kids. If you do have kids, you will understand how a child acts at seven years old. A seven-year-old child cannot walk out in the world and be able to function on his own. So I'm still raising a child. I still got a long way to go before my business is actually a real adult. 
So with me knowing that, I know that every day, every year, as long as I keep making a little bit of money and keep surviving, I'm fine. As long as I don't get evicted from the crib, lights only got shut out once. But as long as I can keep a roof over my head and my kids is eating, everybody else can eat. I eat last because I know my time is coming. All right? So that's enough of me rambling. So that's all I got for you motherfuckers. Want you to like, comment, share. If anybody you feel that can benefit from this, please let it let it go. Fly it over, send it to them. All right? General bitch.